What's up, Ride Warriors? Danny Miller back playing Planet Coaster once again, continuing on in Evergreen Groves here. Um, last time, I had done some work to the gift shop here, put some signs on it. I've done a few extra things. Um, and I had mentioned that I didn't, that I wanted to sort of put a center path going down the main midway to sort of disperse the crowds, um, since we're going to have, you know, crowds over here going for the food and crowds over here. Uh, going for the gifts, but I wanted to have this nice sort of, um, you know, walk up down the middle um, that you could look with the trees on either side, and then from here you could look over and see all your food options. Uh, if I were to get into the middle, you can see your food options over there, and it looks real nice, and you could look over here and look at the gift shop, and you can see the, the, the gifts over there. The, the text looks weird because of the lighting. Uh, but you could see sort of the, the, the name there that's on the overhang. Uh, and then you could walk up to the Grand Carousel and all of its Grand Carousel-type glory. Um, and not have to approach it from the side. So I, so I really, really liked that. And, and in sort of trying to do that, I discovered that these paths weren't quite symmetric. Um, you know, it's a little weird. I th think the, the border is just kind of doing a weird thing here. But, uh, but the path is now symmetric, and it, it involved me doing a little bit of a different thing here on the sides. Um, but it has seemed to turn out okay. So this is sort of the look that our park has um, as you go in now. And I kind of like this, because now you can walk on either side of the midway. You can walk down the middle, um, walk in between the trees. We're going to put light posts and everything and benches and all those things uh, here very, very soon. And what I'd like to do in sort of this middle piece is I'd like to put maybe a smaller sign uh, that has the park name with just a few flowers and everything. Um, so we'll probably do that um, shortly. What I want to do in this episode here is I, I want to at least finish off the accents on this building, uh, on the gift shop building. I, I don't know if I'll get to the lighting. We'll kind of see. Uh, but I do want to get, like, windows and the doors and everything on it. Um, so let's, let's, let's have a go at that. Um, I did take some notes because I want to use, I want to try and use these same window pieces that I used on the other ones. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, I don't know if this area is big enough, um, and if it's not, then we'll, uh, we'll come up with something else. But let's edit the main Midway Gifts building here. And let's go to, let's go to the doors and windows. We're going to go to windows. Um, and I think these were all sort of at the bottom, sort of. Um, where was our fantasy? It was like a wood fantasy window, was it? wasn't it? Yeah, it was this. Yeah, so that's it's going to be too big, unfortunately, to fit there. So we're going to have to go with something smaller. Now, it would be nice to have something that's peaked. And because I've sort of put these at a weird center position, it's not quite what I was looking for. I think that's even going to be too tall. Um, let's let's turn the position snap off just for a minute and put it there. Yeah, it's 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 going to be too big. Um, I mean, it can fit in there. It can sort of fit in there. Um, but it's, it, it doesn't look very natural. I need something smaller yet. Um, the plain window large kind of goes in there. This wide peak. See, that actually fits a little bit better, ironically enough, than the, than the narrower one. Um, the small one, I mean, the small one looks nice, but it's, it's not quite what I want. Um, so I, I think we're going to go with this. And position snapping is, is not my friend at all on this one. Um, but I think what we can do is actually we can place both of these. Oh, you know what? Let me let me get my colors accurate. Um, I have window frame green uh, in my in my sort of my iPhone note, um, which I think is this. I think it's this green. Is it this green? I think that looks good. Um, so what we can do is we'll place both of these so that they they snap. K 
okay. We'll place both of those, and then we'll do the multi-select, and we'll do the advanced move, and we'll place them. I'll get myself nice and centered. And I can tell I'm centered because I sort of have the seam right over the peak. And we're moving both of these windows. So now I know that both of these windows are going to be centered and they're going to be at the same height and I won't have to do the advanced duplicate and move. So now that one is centered nicely over that area and that one is centered nicely over that area. So we'll click the check mark there and things look good. Excellent. Um, and, and that looks nice. I mean, it, it gives it a little bit of a look here. Um, to take away the wood. I mean, we could do something smaller, uh, but I, but I like the 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 peak that that frame sort of has. I mean, we could do a small one, but it's it's really not that different. The only difference is it doesn't have the peak, um, and I I like the look that the peak sort of has there. Um, you know, there's these other things which are just too tall. This is like a barred up window, which I don't want to do. We had these um, a smashed. We've got these other things. I mean, that 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 doesn't look too bad. That actually looks quite nice. Um, but it doesn't really fit the style that we've got on all these other buildings. Um, so it'd be it'd be good to at least keep a consistent style. Um, so that's good. I, I like those windows there. Um, so now let's kind of go down here and we're not going to, we're not really going to have any windows here, I'm afraid. Um, just because we've got sort of that storefront look and, and uh, I, I can't remember if I put this in the last video or not. Um, that is not the actual color that I've made this. I think it's just lighting here. So if I go to 4 p.m., um, Maybe even 3 p.m. will give you a better look. But that sign is actually, like, the, the dark green. There you go. And the, the text is, like, that tan color, um, similar to how it is on these. Um, I've decided to call this Main Street a Blue Fir Boulevard because um, we've done the, the blue fir trees that are along the main drag here. Um, so I've decided to call this Blue Fir Boulevard. And, and there you go. You can see the actual color of these signs. Um, so they're actually green with like the brownish border. That, that, that tan border on that sign uh, doesn't seem to be changeable. You can change when, the other color ch actually changes the scroll work um, that's on that sign, which is which is a bit interesting. Um, so we'll see how uh, we'll see how that looks in the different lighting. It it, it looks kind of weird depending on how the sun is hitting it, um, but we'll go for it. So I guess the question is, is it worthy to put a window in here for some reason? That some reason being basically no reason. Um, I, I guess we can. Um, we've got the peaked window again, which looks kind of nice. Um, we can do the wider peaked window. You know, I, I think we'll do that. Um, I think we'll do that. There's there's really no reason to have these here otherwise. Um, just to sort of fill it in. But I, I think we'll put those there. Um, it'll just give it a little bit of an extra look. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, maybe you could be looking into a, a, a stock room of some sort or, or something. Um, I don't really know what. Um, but I, I think... That's just as well. Um, so now we've got the yeah. We'll we'll just continue to put these peaked windows uh, over here. I don't think I'll put one there. Looks a little odd. Um, yeah, we'll put three along the back here. Um, just giving them different looks, really. Um, yeah, we'll put one there and then put one there. Um, I'm kind of thinking, let's, 
Let's go over to that other one, that other building, and see what do we do there. See, we put those. We put those there. And then here we put sort of the more basic ones. Um, I definitely like those peaked ones, and we did those fancy ones on the front. I definitely like those peaked ones up there, but maybe, maybe not so much for here. Um, it, it seems a little bit too overkill with those peaked windows. Um, I, I like them, I like them inside, though. Um, I like them out there. I like them inside, I guess. I, um, hmm. See, now I'm, I'm kind of liking these because we use them on the other building. Um, how does that compare size-wise? They're the same. Um, <clears throat> let's do these tall and narrow peaked ones on the inside um, because they, they sort of match the feeling with the awning a little bit. And then maybe on the front side of the building, we'll do these taller, narrowed, peaked windows, like so. And then, um, which spot looks better? I don't, I don't think I want to have them in both places. I mean, we could. There's nothing really telling us that we can't. So we'll do that. Um, and then, uh, we'll do the, we'll do the peaked windows in both of these spots here. And then maybe along the back, we'll just do the, um, nope, nope, it's not those, it's these. Yeah, and then along the back, we'll do the more basic ones, um, since we've got the more basic ones on the back of the other building. Um, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm kind of liking the look of the basic ones on the, on the curves there, too. Um, ironically, I, I think they look better, so I, I think I'm going to substitute them. I'll keep the peaked ones in there, um, but yeah, on the, on the exterior here. Uh, I'm I'm really liking these a little bit. They're they're a little bit bigger, so I I think that's probably why they're a little bit taller. Um, they're snapping to a to a decent location there, um, so we'll go with it. Um, so yeah, there there we go. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do any window flower boxes like we did on the other ones. Um, at least down low. I mean, one option. Going to first, one option is to do something small there, like the petunias that we that we put in front. I mean, we could do something there. Um, let's 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 have a look at that before we start doing the lighting. Um, let's go to scenery, nature. They were in flowers, uh, flowers, bushes, topiary, rocks, trees, wall climbers, bushes. Where the hell were they? Um, they here. They're not planters. Trees. Bushes. Bushes. They were in bushes. Um, so we've got the petunia flowers, which have looked fairly nice. Um, they looked fairly nice over on the other side. So maybe we'll duplicate that a bit. Um, we'll do that, and then I'll do an advanced move to try and get them in a in a about the right place. Um, I think I want to move them off the path just a little bit more, right there, hopefully. And then we'll try it. We'll try and center it between like the column and the building. Maybe we'll go right about there. Um, and then does that sort of interfere over here? No, it no it doesn't. It sort of it sort of nestles nicely right between the path and the and the column. Um, let me try and get, like, straight up and down. <clears throat> uh, because what I can do is if I pull it 
I'll sort of nestle it between the column and the wall, and then have it sort of be right on the edge of the path. And it's in just this, this nice little area right here, um, where it's not quite on the path and it's not quite interfering with the building or the column. But it's 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 got a nice look to it. Um, I can probably pull it a little bit closer to there. And now it's sort of in that that right sort of location. Um, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Um, so we'll do the advanced duplicate and move, and we'll slide one over here. It's in the same sort of. Why did you go away? Must have clicked something. Yeah, I, I must have clicked something accidentally. Um, it's 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 getting pretty late actually. I'm recording this uh, fairly late at night. Um, it's about 10:30 at night uh, my time here. Um, getting ready to uh, getting ready to hit the hay after recording this one, but I haven't recorded an episode today. Um, and I, I did do a lot of work after the last episode of uh, sort of just getting the paths sort of looking more symmetric and sort of the way that I wanted to. Um, so I, I did want to try and get on and do an episode today. Um, Sunday Night Football is wrapping up. It's it's uh, Packers Bears here um, after... Oops. I think I just hit X. Yes, I did. There we go. Um, what I wanted to do was Control X, which is our advanced move with a duplication. Um, so now I just need to get in the right spot. It needs to come this way a little bit. come a little bit more. Um, let's rotate this. Let's rotate this 180 degrees, though, so that it's a slightly different look. Um, <laughs> I duplicated it uh, somehow without attempting to. Um, so then that's sort of there. can go a little bit closer to the path, not by much. Um, I think that's probably pretty good. Relatively similar. And then if I come back over here, I'm really being quite particular with this. Um, you know, maybe maybe you could even argue being slightly too detailed and too specific about sort of the location. Um, but I do want it. I do want it to be as close to symmetric as possible. <clears throat> I'll move this one just back a little bit closer to the path. All right, I I think that's I think that's good enough. Um, so now we kind of come on it, come upon it, and uh, yeah, there's there's this nice um, there's these nice flowers here now, um, which look nice, and and maybe I'll even put a window box of some sort here. Um, let's let's see, actually, um, we can probably do that. Um, are they planters? I think it was the small. What did what did we put on? Go back to the other building real quick. <clears throat> and we put the large. We put the large painted window box there. Um, and I'm gonna have to adjust slightly the uh, the color um, to that green that I decided to do. Um, 
What I'd like to do is find a place where this will snap where it's centered and then I can adjust the height. Um, is position snapping on? It is. Um, I have a feeling it may not snap because of the, the window opening here. Um, I'm just trying to find a spot on this wall where it will actually snap to position um, so that I know it's centered. Um, I may not get a particular spot. And, I mean, it's it's kind of low there, so I, I don't know that that's the best place to have that anyway. Um, so perhaps we'll... Uh, oh, having it on the inside might be neat. I mean, they're not getting sunlight there, and they're not getting sunlight here either um, so much. So so maybe, maybe we just won't do that for now. Um, why don't... Let's see, we're 20 minutes in. Uh, why don't we start doing the lighting then? Um, yep, yeah, we'll, we'll start doing the lights, um, we'll have it go to 6 p.m., so that we've got, uh, you know, this sort of going on, and we've got that nice lighting over here, oh, let's go to decorations, and we want lights, and I want this guy, which is the firehouse emergency light, And I'm bringing up my uh, bringing up my iPhone note again. Uh, so the firehouse light, we need this first color to be E6E599. That's our light, and I probably could have just selected that. Oh no, it's different. Uh, yes, that's the one E6E599. Good. And then this needs to be. 274E13, that's our foresty green, which is a little bit different than our other foresty greens, um, but it's the, it's the same sort of, uh, it's the same sort of feel. Um, so we definitely want to do, why is it so bright right here? I guess is that, is that just because of the sun? Um... I think maybe we want to go to 6 a.m. because I know the sun is sort of behind uh, the building. Why is it? Why is it so bright right here? I'm confused as to why it's so bright. I mean, I guess is that just is that just how many lights that I have on that building sort of lighting it up? Where's the camera? Wherever the camera is is sort of lit up. That's interesting. I wonder, did the game update or something? <laughs> I'm I'm very confused right now. Um, cause I'm I don't really want the is it because I'm editing the building. That's odd. It's like, hmm. I wonder if that's a setting, because I I don't really want it to do that right now. Um, hang on, just just want to check something in the settings. Um, camera. No clip. Texture quality high. Um, yeah, this, this is really weird. Um, I, I don't recall, I don't recall wherever the camera looking being lit, um, uh, because that would have, I, I feel like I would have remembered that at this point, because 
see it's 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 lighting up everything very very brightly which i don't necessarily want right now while i'm placing lighting um because i want the lights i, I want to see what the lights are doing um that's interesting i'm i'm going to I'm not going to waste more time being confused by that at this point. Um, but perhaps I will have to Google that afterwards when we're done here. Um, at any rate, we've got firehouse lights. Um, I think over here they placed in a nice center position on these columns. So I think we'll do the same here. That looks good. Um, at least I think it looks good. I'd like to tell you that it looks good. Um, that weird lighting on the, the camera is uh, doing something quite odd. Um, so now I'm going to put them on the inside as well. Just the two is probably fine. See, it's weird. I can't really see how much light it's giving off. So this is very weird. Um, bear with me for one moment because I'm going to uh, I'm going to Google this because I, I it it's really a shame that I can't see what kind of light that's actually giving off. Uh, Planet coaster camera light camera flashlight for working in tunnels. Um, Oh, so apparently if you press L, it's a, it's like a camera torch. Let's try this. Ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> that is excellent. Okay. So tapping L on your keyboard, if you're playing the game, if you're at night and you want light on the area you're looking at, tapping L on the keyboard will basically turn on a camera flashlight and that will toggle it on and off. That is excellent. Good to know. Okay, so now I can properly have a look. Um, and you can see here the lighting on the inside is not nearly enough uh, for what I would need. Um, although the park's never going to be open at 10 a.m. Um, so why don't we go back to 6 a.m. Um, yeah, we could, we, could, we could probably do with, with more lights. Um on the inside here, the question is where do they have to go? Um, hmm. Oh, you know what? We're we're gonna put the arm lights up there, um, just like we did on the other ones. We're gonna put the arm lights up there, and we're gonna maybe put one over the evergreen gifts sign. So um, bear with me on that. Um, Boy, I've I've just learned a bunch of things. Um, that 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 camera torch thing is just <laughs> that's that's blown my mind. Um, that is not something I knew about the game at all. Um, so I am very very pleased that I that I just learned that. Um, okay, so we know that we're gonna want to put. I'm I'm trying to be consistent here with with the lighting and sort of where I've been putting it. Um. Seems like I should maybe have one there. I mean, it's going to snap there, so I'm going to put one there. Um, sure, go for it. Um, looks good. Good there. Good there. Did I have any camera? Or did I have any lights on the back side here? Um... Yeah, they're, they're snapping right to the windows. Um, let me go to the back side of the other building and see where I sort of put them. Uh, yeah, I, I, did, I did put just a, a set or two on the back. Um, but again, if I, if I go to 6 a.m. where the, the sun's setting isn't really hitting it. Um, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's okay. Um... Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm looking on the front side because this is when there's truly no light hitting this side of the building, and and that I think that I think is sort of the right amount of lighting uh, that I want, um, at least from the building's perspective. Because again, I'm I'm going to be putting uh, I'm going to be putting some lights on the midway, 
Um, I suppose I could put a few on this column here. Um, if I if I go back to 6 p.m., um, you know, it's not really giving off any light here. But I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the pathway lights. I think uh, there, um, and you've got the columns there. Um, see this this looks really nice now when you've got the sort of the sunset type light coming into it. Um, so I think putting the the arm lights over the awnings is is going to be the way to go. Um, so why don't we why don't we do that first before we decide what else we're going to do in terms of uh, lights on this? Because we're going to put the arm lights up here as well. Um, did we put any lights up on the second level? No, we just put the arm lights. Oh, we put a few over there. Um, but we don't really have an upper level of the building. Uh, in the same sense on this one. I could put these here. I think I am going to put these on these columns here um, because this is going to be where the guests are walking in and out of the, the shop. Um, so it, it does seem particularly important that that would be well lit so people aren't, you know, running into things. Uh, when they're going in and out of the shop. Yeah, I, I think that's better. So now you've got this archway at least well lit. Um, so why don't we work on... Why don't we get rid of those that light for now? And we'll go to the arm light. Here it is. And let's, let's go back over... Whoa, let's go to first person view and go back over. Um, so let's go over here and see... Oh, so we, we nestled those basically as high as we possibly could. Um, so we've got not nearly as much ceiling room over here. So we will nestle them as high as we possibly can. Um, so the arm light... is going to be, and bring up my note again, the arm light, we want the first bit to be 614, 222, and that's the actual color of the light, and then the, the light bulb itself, I think, is this one, the E6E599, yes it is, okay, perfect, so that's the same bit that we're going for there, so we'll... We'll have it snap there, snap there, and snap there, and then shift, and shift, and again, because they, I think we did the same thing over here where they snapped to the middle of the shop, and then we sort of just moved them upwards so that they were sort of embedded in, um, so we probably have the same thing going on here. Uh, which which is fine. I think that's sort of what I'm going for anyway. Um, so let's move these up basically as high as we possibly can. Which is going to mean they're going to sort of sit somewhere not clipping through the ceiling. We'll put them sort of there. That's about as high as we can get them, where it still looks somewhat realistic, I think. So there it is, and now we've got um, we've got just a memento that looks good. We've got Looney balloons, which looks a little bit awkward because it sort of comes out more like the cheap beef sign and the hats fantastic sign. That 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 one looks particularly good. Um, but I, I think I'm, I think I'm generally happy with that, so let's, let's call that done. Um, so now, do I have, do I have 6 a.m. lighting on? I do. Um, okay, so let me just click this again. Um, so now, so now I, I think that looks pretty good. This is 6 a.m. lighting, um, so there's no light coming into this building at all, so now... And if I put that away um, now, I've got I've got plenty of light from the arm lights sort of coming into the stand. So this is now well lit between uh, these arch, the, the, the columns, the light, the lighting on the columns, which is lighting up the way in and then sort of here. Um, 
you can sort of see pretty well inside that that entire shop now. Um, and that's looking good, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Now, I want to do another arm light, which is that color and that light. And I want it to light up my evergreen gifts stand, or my sign. And unfortunately, I don't think there is a spot where this is going to snap where I like it. Um, so perhaps my play is actually going to add it there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to bring it out this way. Then move it up so I at least know it's centered sort of on that, um, on sort of that panel. Um, and I'm still going to embed it into, I'm going to embed it nicely into there. I want to make sure it's not clipping through the other side, though, and it is not, so that's good. Um, it's close. Oh, no, but there's another panel there, so it's, it's fine. Um... So I want, it, I want it to come out without the elbow being too exposed. Um, right there, I'll move it up as much as I can. So that's lighting up the sign as best it can. And then it's centered nicely. Um, yeah, I, I wish I could get just a little bit higher. Um, I mean, I suppose I can't, well, not much. Um, I wish I could go just a little bit higher so that it's actually illuminating just a little bit more um, of the sign. That's clipping through right there. That's not right there. I think we can put it there. Let's see how that looks now. Um, yeah, I, I like that now. So now the at least all of the text is illuminated. The, the sign, it's sort of not quite illuminated all the way. Um, but it's good enough for me considering the height. Actually, there, there's a way to sort of get around that, I think. Um, see, we have it with the, with the panel and a half. We can actually move this sign down just a bit. It doesn't have to be much. See, we could move it all the way down, and then it's sort of completely illuminated, but then in the daytime, I think it looks a little weird. Um, so this, I think we can kind of do that. I think that looks pretty good. Um, And now, uh, if I if I go to PM, go to say 2 PM, and then I sort of look away. And I'm sort of at player height here. Yeah, I mean that that looks good. Um, it's it's sort of centered. It's it's roughly centered there. Um, I I like that. And then when I go to nighttime. When I go to nighttime, it's it's lit up nicely, and I can read everything. Um, so that's good. Um, so there's there's still a lot more to do in terms of lighting this building because it's 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 very very dark at the moment. I mean this this building over here is just is just beautifully lit um, in all sorts of different ways. Um, and it's really because of those two arm lights that I put up there, and these two here. I mean, it sort of lights up sort of the the entire the entire rest of the building. I still thought about putting the the stationary the 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 constant fairy lights along the the eaves there, but but I I may not. But this building is just very very dark up here yet. Um, 
So there's a couple ways to combat this. We definitely need to put arm lights over these two windows. Um, and we definitely need to put arm lights over um, the Evergreen Gifts sign. So let's go to 6 p.m. again, just to give us a little bit of light to work with. And I was sort of hoping that these would snap somewhere nice, but it doesn't appear that they are going to. I can get it to snap there, and I can get it to snap there. Um, oop, I should have rotated that first. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the same thing that we did when we placed the windows. Make sure that I'm centered over that look. I'll zoom out a bit just so I can see the adjustment tool. Move them up. Those are perfectly centered. Just about as good as they possibly could be. Um, and then I think I'm just going to make sure that I, again, super consistent uh, gonna make sure that that elbow sort of hidden because I, I want these I want this to come out a bit more um, I want this to come out a bit more um, so I can see and I need to adjust this with the red arrow and it needs to go in until it's about there now with the green arrow for the height could bring it up there and I'm, I'm going to assume then that the other one is matching up perfectly so we're gonna go we're gonna go there because I, I can't go up to there otherwise it's it's really really close so we're, we're gonna go to there yeah and that's 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 perfect there on that one um, so now now we've got oh so th that sort of serves two purposes th those um they light up the windows but then they also light up a good portion of the angled roof that's be that's beneath it so now at 11 p.m when it's very very dark where you've got that lighting over there you've got this lighting over here um so again it looks a little bit different um it looks a little bit different but god the, the lighting on that building just looks amazing um, cause you can still see all the colors and everything. And then over on this one, I mean, yeah, this one's, this one's coming along, uh, quite nicely. Um, you know, it's not, it's not quite there yet. Um, so I think last thing we'll do for this episode and then we'll call it, a day. We're, we're not going to finish all the lighting for this building. Um, cause I, I think it does need a little bit more, um, but I'm I'm happy with where we've progressed uh, in this episode here. So we'll do another arm light, and we know that this is gonna need two for sure. And of course, it's it wants me to center center this one, of course. Um, hmm. I'm just going to roughly, I'm going to do this quick. I know that these need to come closer together. Yeah, they, they very obviously need to come closer together. Um, arm light. And the problem is I don't know how much closer they need to come together. So, and it's difficult to sort of figure out where they need to be. So I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna sort of guess. 
and say that that's good there. And then I'm going to do the multi-select and do an advanced move and try and just figure out where they need to go. I know that we need to go up. Ah, see so that's that's looking pretty good already. Um, we'll do this and we'll make sure that they're hidden up to that elbow. Just the same on both, which is fine. Um, and now we'll just have to sort of eyeball the this the centering deal using the blue arrow, because I don't know exactly where centered is. Um, we're going to have to do it based off of the lighting, which actually, that that looks pretty close right right there. I think actually that's probably centered right there based on those, those roof tiles. Because um, the roofing tiles, that looks to be the center of the roofing tiles. Um, and, and lighting wise, that actually looks to be centered as well. Um, so that's good. So now the question is, can we go up a little bit more? I think we can. We can go to right about there. And I think that lights up that sign very nicely. So now when I'm looking out here, I can... And I'm I'm down here at player height, and it's and it's at night in the park. I can look up and see evergreen gifts, and I'm f I want that to be up a little bit higher still. Um, and we've got the eaves here, so we do have some room actually to move these up. Um, I I could move the signs closer together, um, but then it's it's going to take away from the rest of the sign being lit up. Um, so I think we, we do have the ability to move these up because of the eaves. And those, the, the lights are sort of clipping out up here. But I'm okay with that actually because it, it, it looks like they're actually being supported there. Um, so that's fine as long as they're not clipping through the back of the roof, which they are not. So we're all good to go there. And now here, I mean, it, it they're, they're not... <laughs> they're not hitting the roof, uh, just barely, but they're not hitting the roof. Um, so this is good now. Um, that has bought us just a little bit of height there, um, but I think it looks a lot better because now if we get down to player height again here um, and we're in the middle of the midway, we look up and now we see that that sign is lit up very nicely um, from up top. And it, it's pretty much the entire sign, isn't it? Um, and then uh, you've got the the smaller sign that's here that's lit up very nicely. So it's 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 a very nice symmetric look, I think that we've got going on here. And this this building looks very very nice. Um, so now let's go to 11 p.m. where it's it's very very dark. So we've we've got this look here, and this again the building is still very nicely lit. The entire front of the building is is lit up pretty nicely. Um, and, and this is a very different looking building here, um, but it's because it's got the roofs. But I mean, this this looks very, very cool. Um, you know, and this would be 11 p.m. when the park is sort of closing. Um, and if you were to, you know, come in for a nightcap here, you've got uh, you've got all these buildings here. Now you've got the food building on the right. You've got the gift shop on the left. Uh, which is lit in a different way, but a similar way. And I think we're still going to put lights on the sides and things here just to sort of jazz it up just a little bit more. And then we've got the beautiful carousel out at the end, um, at the end of the midway. Um, so I think with that, we're at almost 50 minutes for the episode here. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's been a productive episode, I feel. Um, we're certainly not done with the lighting yet. We still got a little bit more to do, but I, I think there's enough, uh, that we've done in this episode that we can sort of, uh, that we can sort of wrap up the lighting of the gift shop, um, in the next episode and sort of move on to continuing to do the midway. Uh, maybe we'll do some lampposts, some benches and some more bushes and flowers and things. Um, but I think we are in good shape for this episode. Um, so we'll wrap up this episode. We'll end it here. And I'll leave you with this really nice view of the Evergreen Groves gift shop. 
uh, at night with the with the full moon up there in the sky. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you for joining me, and we will see you in the next one.